Hey boys and girls, today we are going to be making a blended oil pastel flower. So you're gonna get a sheet of nine by nine white construction paper, and you can either free draw where you want the center of your flower, or you can use a ruler. Um, I can never ever get it in the middle. So I'm gonna use this ruler, and what I'm gonna do is since I know it's you know nine inches across, between four and five inches, I'm just gonna draw a line, and then I'm gonna do the same thing up and down this way. So between four and five inches. So I know that about where these two would meet is going to be where my center is. And then I can just draw my circle from there. And once you have your circle drawn out, you're going to draw the leaves to your, or the petals to your flower. And you can do this in whatever fashion you want to. Um, I tend to come out and then come back in so it comes up to a point. So I go out and then back down. And then I'll turn my paper so I'm out, comes to a point, out and back down. And you're gonna go all around one time with the same petal shape all around. Once you have one layer of petals drawn out, you're gonna do a second layer by going in between each one and just adding in that same shape. So if you're doing just you know loops, then you would just do that curve line. For me, I'm bringing it up to a point, and I'm gonna fill in in between each one of these petals. Once your flower is drawn out, you're ready to get your oil pastels. So what I'm gonna do is actually just erase this line that I have in the center, and I'm gonna erase a little bit of my lines in the middle here, um, so that way they don't show through. I do want the petals to show up because I'm going to be tracing them, but here I don't really want it to show through. So you're going to decide whether or not you're going to be making your flower with warm or cool colors. I'm going to do mine with warm colors, which means the center of my flower is going to be with cool colors, and the outside around my flower is also going to be with cool colors to help the flowers stand out. I'm going to start with the middle, and I'm going to grab three cool colors, so I decided to go all green. And you're going to start on the outside and just kind of do like a zigzag line. And you want to make sure that you're pressing firmly with this. We're going to go back over it a little bit and kind of blend these together. So I'm going around with that, then I'm going to go to my medium green. And like I said, I'm going to blend. So I'm going over top of that dark green a little bit, pressing firmly. And then the same thing with the light green. And the center of my flower is pretty much complete. For this next part, I do want you to use a white oil pastel. So what, it doesn't matter whether or not you're using warm or cool colors, but what you're gonna do is use this white inside of these bigger petals. So you're kind of blending a little bit of that other color that you used for the outside of the center into the petal, but you're also coloring past it so that way you're going to have an area where you can blend the white into the next color that you choose. You want to color the white about halfway into the middle of each one of these petals. So I'm going to go back and notice I'm still doing this zigzag pattern and that just helps when it blends just to give it that flowery kind of look. And after I'm done with the white, I'm going to go and start my first warm color. So you can choose whatever color you want. Um, I chose this kind of like golden color. And what I'm gonna do is just add in a line into each one of these bigger petals. So I'm blending over top of the white. I know you can't really tell right now, but I am. I'm blending a little bit into the white and then a little bit past it. Again, going in this zigzag pattern, pressing firmly all around. Now I'm gonna choose a darker color, so this is an orange, and I'm gonna blend a little bit over top of the yellow, or that golden color, and a little bit past it. Pressing firmly, making sure to blend in with that gold, and cover up as much white space as I can. Then I'm gonna go with my darkest warm color, so this is my red, and I'm gonna fill in the tips of the petals, and then also into that orange a little bit. 
After I'm done filling in all of this, I'm gonna go back and just make sure that all of the colors are blended together. So I'll show you what I mean after I finish coloring these all in red. So in order to make sure that everything's blended, I'm gonna go back to my lightest color, so obviously that's my white, and I'm gonna blend where the white and yellow mix together, and you're gonna see how that's making like a really light gold. And it's gonna help everything just kind of gradually go from one color to the next. So I'm gonna do this with each one of my colors. So I'll do this next with the gold, and I'll blend some of the gold into the orange. And then after I'm done with that, I'll go to my orange, and I will do that with some of the red. So I've finished all the gold and now I've started a little bit some of the orange into the red. I don't actually need to go back and blend with the red since that's my last color. So this will be my last time blending everything together. And then once I'm done with this, I'm gonna start on my second set of petals. So I'm gonna go back to the white and I'm gonna add a little bit of white right to about the middle. So these are gonna be a little bit shorter in the length of the different colors that I'm using. But I'm gonna add in that white on every one. And once my white is down, I'm going to add in a little bit of that gold. So it's the exact same steps that we just did with those bigger petals but this time I'm just going, they're gonna be a little bit shorter in length for each one of those colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill all of them in. Okay, so I've added all my colors and then again, I'm gonna go back and blend. So starting with that white, then I'm gonna blend with the gold and then I'm gonna blend with the orange and I do not need to worry about the red. But don't skip this step because this is really what gives it that beautiful blended appearance Okay, so as you can see, I can still see my pencil lines, and this may or may not be the case depending on how dark your colors are, but try to see if you can find them, um, and if not, just redraw your petals. What I'm gonna do is take my darkest color, and I'm gonna trace over top of those pencil lines on each one of these petals. So even on these little ones too, I'm just gonna trace the outside going over top of those pencil lines. Once you're done with that, you're gonna pick one color from the color group that you used for the center, and you're gonna trace around the outside of the flower with this color. And this is just gonna help to prevent your flower blending in from the background. Um, even though we wanted the petals to blend together, we wanna keep this separate. So I'm gonna go around kind of carefully, trying not to color over top of the lines I already did and blend them together. I wanna to keep them separate here and give myself a little bit of space for when I add in my background so everything's not blending together. Once I'm done with my outline, I'm gonna go back to whatever cool colors you wanna use. I would choose like three or four and you're gonna create like blocks of color. So I'm still going out from the center the same way that I was kinda of doing. I'm kinda of basically drawing zigzag lines when I'm coloring in. So I'm gonna do different blocks. So I have my green there. I'm gonna use this dark green next. And I'm really trying to fill in all that white space on the paper and then I'm gonna blend it where they meet. So I'm gonna go a little bit over top of that light green and try my best to cover up all this space. So what I'm gonna do is fill up the rest of my white space just like that. And each color that I do, when I choose my next color, I'll be blending over top of each other. So if I do a little bit of this blue here, where the blue and the green meet, I'm going to be coloring over top both colors together to kind of get them to blend so it's gradual. All right, so I finished filling in my background. Don't forget to blend those colors over top of each other where they meet. Otherwise, you're going to have blocks of color which won't be so bad, but it's just nicer to have it kind of gradually blend from one color to the next. Um, and it just really kind of adds to that flow of the gradual color change throughout the picture. So I hope you guys have fun with this. I cannot wait to see them.